Hi, I'm Mr. Eric Tang. Today we will talk about why we need to use a database and the basic concept of SQL, SQL language. Here we go. When you write a program that needs to store or retrieve a small amount of data, you can spend a few hours to write the code to handle it. However, if your program needs to handle many data, you better work with a database management system, DBMS. One of the examples of such DBMS on the market is the MySQL database server. There are many reasons to use DBMS. For example, they can handle huge amount of data efficiently. They are multi-user systems. They have better security control. And they have good reports generating functions. Database always acts as a server and is used by client programs. For example, we may ask a database server to create a table to store students' data, or to create a table to store mass of students. Sometimes you may want to ask the database server to get some data like the class of a student with student ID 12345, or you want to know which students fail in the computer subject. Now, if you write a program and our program wants to ask for a service from a database server, it needs to talk to the database server with a special language called Structural Query Language, SQL, or SQL Language. We'll learn SQL Language in this series of videos. In SQL Language, there are many commands. In this course, we'll only focus on using the SELECT command which is used to retrieve data from the database. Let's see one example. You can type select plus one or more field names, and then the keyword from plus the table name. It means that you only want to retrieve one or more columns from the table. For example, the result of this command will get all the data from the column student ID in the table student. And the result of this command will get all the data from the column's first name and last name in the table student. OK, that's all for today. In the next video, we'll practice SQL commands together and learn more about the select statements. Goodbye.